My name is Christine Marquette and I'm a registered dietitian with the Austin Regional Clinic and I'm going to talk to you about how ephedrine affects the body. Now ephedrine is actually a component very similar to ephedra. It's actually just a different name ephedra. There's different varieties. Ephedra Seneca is a type that was typically found in weight loss products and different supplements. And ephedrine is actually the alkaloid of ephedra. So the way it actually affects the body is that it's a stimulant and it does have thermogenic properties so it could have a very modest effect on your metabolism it can increase your metabolism very slightly what was found um, many years ago by supplement manufacturers were if they combined it with caffeine it could rate increase the rate of your metabolism a little bit more effectively resulting in a modest amount of weight loss not a significant amount However, what was found through the years was that this combination and actually just ephedra by itself had very serious side effects. Very mild side effects included insomnia, but ultimately it could result in death, and it did result in death in a number of people. There were over 15,000 complaints of adverse reactions from one supplement manufacturer alone that eventually were turned over to the FDA. So for this reason, you can no longer buy ephedra or ephedrine as a weight loss supplement. There's a similar component called pseudoephedrine, and this particular alkaloid is still found in decongestants, but you typically cannot buy those unless you actually go to the pharmacy and get it from behind the counter. It's not something that you usually can just find on the shelf. You have to actually go ask for it at the counter. Again, because it, it, should, it should be used strictly as a decongestant, not for weight loss. It is a slightly different alkaloid, but again, related to ephedra, so it still needs to be used with caution. So just some information for you on how ephedrine affects the body.